despite the high unemployment rate, the youth have launched an initiative to start small businesses to survive amidst the raging COVID-19 pandemic. An architect graduate, Ndaulin Ratebe, explained that she started her jewelry business to sustain herself. <laughs> So, me starting this business in early one of the things in a career. Okay, even if I graduate, at least I want to have something as a Similarly, a broadcasting graduate, Mosa Tolwani, expressed that she realized that the media career path she had chosen is not enough to provide for her, hence she started her own business to gain financial freedom. I'm a graduate, right? So I went to a local university. Um, I started I studied broadcasting and journalism. Yeah. And I think I started off doing an associate degree. I went for an internship. And when I was there, I guess I realized this wasn't really for me, right? Print journalism was not for me. And I thought, let me go to broadcasting, which I TV and radio and such. So I went back to school and I studied and I completed last year. Um, but then after my completion I also, I then sat down and realized I don't think there's enough money for me here. Um, the work is just not economically rewarding, not rewarding enough anyway. And I saw people my age, other graduates, in the streets, hustling, making a lot more money than what employed for money. And I was like, I feel like this is where I could be because there's space for growth. Unlike Haki Lane in a caged space, working um, within a few years, yeah, with some work experience and a promotion maybe. Like, right? So that's basically what I've just been doing. Um, business has been growing in the zone. Because this time zone is really slow and it's frustrating. But um, I think, unlike others, I'm lucky for my security high, like his economy, so I don't really have a lot of expenses. Right now, I just need to maintain myself and grow um, to a level of independence where I can move on. So I guess I have things a lot easier in that sense. Ratebe further explained that since the COVID-19 pandemic, the economy has suffered and her clients negotiate her prices based on their budget. Yo, Ella, I am a holy billion, I am a holy because. right? Kirikisa is not crazy. So, but to have a fish, they're like, ah, COVID, we don't have money. Why is some people trying to get You know, but what's the according to their budget is thing according to so people were always crying because people were expecting budget materially since so 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 I have a young affect Despite these challenges, she dreams of owning her own jewelry shop one day. Tolwane also noted that she wishes to reopen her health shop business one day to be able to create employment. Before COVID-19, after completing my associate degree, I started a PR and marketing consultancy business, right? And it picked up very quickly. I got there 28 August, 
advised the youth to choose careers that will domestically and commercially sustain them in the future. Um, the, if you're given money to study and then you take it and you make it a business, one of those things will suffer. Either the study will suffer or the business will suffer. So I think you should use the money for the intended purpose. Go to school, study hard, finish your stuff, but make sure that you pick the kind of things that you think would sustain you over time. Right. Question of financial literacy. Nobody wakes up and becomes financially literate unless they grow out of a family that already is doing things for itself. If not everybody can come from a family that runs businesses, right? But we've got an education system that we can use to actually bring literacy or finance to, to, to people. We've got a, an education system that can actually provide us with a, with a, with a means to educate people on how to to, to budget. For instance, now my parents used to give me money for the whole week. They say, here, this is for the whole week. If you mess it up in the middle of the week, you're on your own. So, so I was taught to manage this money till Friday. Because if I didn't do that, then, yeah, <laughs> I didn't have anything. And, and my father was very strict about that. He says, okay, if you don't do that type of stuff, if by Thursday or Wednesday, you wasted money, that's your problem. In conclusion, Mr. Mokwena noted that the youth need to think outside of the box and use the assets they possess to open businesses. I need you guys to help me because uh, we're poor. And I said, do you have land in that? Can I, can I see you? I'm a guy. I want to tell how big the argument is. You're not poor at all. That's it. You see? So poverty to them is how much cash you've got in your own pocket. It's not the cumulative wealth that you've got. They don't look into what's called net worth. Net worth is everything that you've got, including cash, assets, bonds, everything that, 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 that can be measured as, as wealth. We need to start making people think in that way. You can't say you're poor when your parents have uh, hectares and hectares of land, right? So what do you do? But you, Ujalapu. Annually, the National University of Lesotho graduates about 5,000 youth, which adds up to 24.7% of the unemployment rate. 